Does the president view anti-Israel protests and sentiment on college campuses as anti-Semitism? So look, I'm not going to get into what's happening across the country in, at different universities. I'm not going to get into the specifics. As the Admiral said, the First Amendment right, right? That's what something, a peaceful protest. Oh, that was different. Before we address the rest of that clip, I want to take a quick history lesson with you. I know KJP's only been around for almost a decade, giving us her vapid opinions. But one thing I'm absolutely sure of is that she's never been a big fan of free speech and has always categorized the speech of her opponents as racist, sexist, transphobic, xenophobic, anti-Semitic, and of course, dangerous to democracy. If it walks like a racist, talks like a racist, acts like a racist, it is a racist. Can we kind of dis? Spell this whole idea that the Tea Party was about the deficit yeah. when, when clearly that is not true. What it was about was a reactionary to the 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 the, the racism in America. This president totally rejects uh, uh, bigotry, racism, anti-Semitism. When you say things like this, when you um, when when you do not speak out against uh, these type of poisonous and dangerous uh, kind of remarks or uh, uh, representation if you will, uh, that is uh, that is also uh, in incredibly dangerous within itself. Yeah, but you're 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 laying out a broad kind of broad example or explanation of what could potentially happening. A broad a broad ex example explanation that is dangerous. That is a dangerous thing to say. So look, you know, when you when you talk about monitoring, you know, it, it is. Uh, I, I what the hell? Let me get this straight. A tiny fringe of randos on Twitter are a serious threat to democracy to the point that our government has to suppress free speech. Expressing your denial of the 2020 election results is also a threat to democracy, despite the fact that KJP herself did this in 2016. So let's let's be really clear that that comparison that you made is just ridiculous. Oh, that was different. Parents speaking up about their concerns with boys playing in girls' sports are also a dangerous threat. And private citizens expressing their criticism of an unelected bureaucrat is also a dangerous threat. These people even swayed the outcome of an election by calling legitimate reporting by a legitimate news source Russian disinformation so they could justify its suppression. But several thousand left-wing college students around the country marching and actually calling for the erratic of Jews is just harmless free speech. The fact is, there is a lot of very real anti-Semitism on the left that's much more mainstream and has been stewing for decades, but that our media actively works to cover up because it runs right in the face of their narrative that the real threat are right-wing white people. That's why, according to a new MRC study, the network media has dedicated exactly zero minutes to covering any of the pro-Hamas statements coming from Rashida Tlaib, Elon Omar and AOC. But back to KJP, who scurried off to Twitter after her embarrassing response went viral, saying, quote, to be clear, <laughs> hold on to your butts because you know that anytime KJP says that, you're about to hear some bullshit. To be clear, the president and our team are very concerned about a rise in anti-Semitism, especially after the horrific Hamas terrorist attack in Israel. But you didn't say any of that. You just brushed it aside as free speech, which is just mind blowingly unbelievable because you've always been an opponent of free speech but we all know what they mean by free speech they mean their free speech not yours which they will always characterize as hate speech or whatever negative label they need to justify its suppression Megan Kelly echoed what I just said weird how you didn't say when asked directly which is exactly what every single person who read that is thinking it wasn't in her magic binder that's not the kind of thing one can simply come up with off the cuff right like it's so hard hard to say that you're just concerned with what's happening to Jews in America and worldwide. The problem is they can't because it runs in the face of both their narrative and their ideological beliefs. And their ideology, Muslims, black people, and generally anybody outside of Jewish people and white people can do no wrong. Which is exactly why she answered this way when asked about threats against Jewish people in America. Um, look, um, uh, we have not seen uh, any credible uh, threats. I know there's been always questions about uh, credible threats. Uh, and so I uh, just want to make sure that that's out there. But look, administration's new plan to counter anti-Semitism, as you all know, this past May, we announced a very comprehensive, once-of-a-kind uh, anti-Semitism plan, which we think is incredibly important at this moment. What? Uh, 
Muslim and those perceived uh, to be Muslim have endured a disproportionate uh, number of hate-fueled attacks. Of course! And lastly, I think this guy said it best, Jean-Luc Kennard. To be clear, the president and our team are very concerned about how badly I whipped on this easy question in a press briefing. Yeah, look, I didn't want to delve into this topic for obvious reasons, but it's pretty obvious what's going on here. It's yet another attempt to set special standards for the left and their alliance, while their opposition speech is held to a completely different standard. The fact is, the American woke left is directly aligned with genocide Nazis who want to eradicate Jews worldwide. And these people are quite open about this, but they check off all those intersectional boxes. And the left is currently in the process of trying to quote Palestinians to black people and their struggle against Jews worldwide as the same as their struggle against whites worldwide. <laughs> That's why you're seeing all these comparisons to George Floyd. This unites them in a common cause. It seems like the Jewish Democrats better wake up to this fact before it's too late. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you keep checking back for more.